Hey guys, it's Greg, and I'm back again with another legendary DXP strategy video. It feels real good because today we are back at the campaign levels, talking about 3 1. Uh, it's just, it's real nice to get back to these. Had the little detour doing the character spotlights, uh, and then also just in general dealing with all the things going on in the world right now. Uh, so it's nice to have a little slice of normal. I hope that you guys have been playing a ton. I hope that you've been enjoying the heck out of the game. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. We are going to be looking at 3 1, which is going to be our first encounter with. Darissa. Okay, so we are going to be facing Darissa, the dispossessed. We have to defeat her four times. She is bound to the Goblin Horde. With her Master Strike, each player that has exactly six cards in their hand reveals a magic hero or puts two cards from their hand on top of their deck. The scheme is Apex of Power. With this, there are eight twists upon each twist. The counter advances. Uh, for twists 5 and 6, each player gains a wound. For twist 7, each player gains 3 wounds. And then at twist 8, evil wins. Uh, today we are going to be playing with Arsillo, the Noble Hearted, Lord Cedric of the Citadel, and Steel Vera, the Light. So I just want to pause for just a moment here and note that Steel Vara is OP to the point of being broken. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to get as many villagers as possible for Steel Vara. Uh, and you can do that through um, Selfless Act or Spell of Geokinesis. Both are really awesome for this. Uh, and then you need to get your hand on as many copies of Growing Tide as you can because Growing Tide will just keep getting stronger and stronger and will do downright silly amounts of damage. And did I mention that this card is an uncommon? You can have multiple copies of it in your deck. So, you know, it's... I mean, it's, it, it is. It's broken because of how good um, how good Growing Tide is. Uh, so, beyond that, you want to gain some magic heroes in order to trigger some abilities, uh, but you also want them so that you can avoid the Master Strike. Um, Stilvara's um, rare card, People's Crusader, is actually underwhelming for the cost. Uh, it costs seven recruit in order to recruit it, uh, and you get four attack. Um, you automatically can defeat a villain or mastermind if they are if they're toting a villager. But how frequently will you have that come up? In this particular scenario, it's really infrequent. Um, so. You know, I would actually go ahead and say that you can you can generally avoid uh, People's Crusader um, if you don't, unless you have you know a lot of money and you just need a little bit more attack, real little extra oomph. Uh, so Staff of Earth uh, is actually decent, um, but I want you to be advised that the ability doesn't appear to function in a single player game, at least I haven't observed it to. I've, I've definitely seen it in a multiple well, multiplayer game, but I haven't seen it when I've just been playing. Uh, so really, when you do get that, just plan on it being 3 attack for a cost of 5 recruit. Uh, Lord Cedric's Leader of the Vanguard can be great as well, uh, but there are, f you know, there are only few opportunities to KO heroes. Um, you know, there's Consequence, uh, it allows it if you play it with another skill hero, but you probably should be grabbing those anyways uh, so that you can rescue villagers. Um, and then, you know, and, and there's not a ton of card draw in this game. Uh, Wisdom, is, Wisdom of Ages is really it, uh, so you won't be able to get... Um, you won't be able to get up to the ridiculous heights of attack that you would normally uh, with a game of all um, Orin's Wall heroes. In general, uh, this is a race against time, so you need to get a good amount of attack and you need to get that fairly consistently. 
Trim the fat as best you can by KOing your starter heroes and going after heroes that have synergies um, with, with one another and aim for grabbing villagers to feed Growing Tide. That's it. Let's take a look. Da, 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 da. This is going to be a little fun. This is going to be a little fun. Okay, so Scheme Twist right out the gate. We need to get rid of a card that costs six or less, and I think I'm going to get rid of Wisdom of Ages. Uh, so as you see, Orin's Wall, it's an intelligence hero. One attack, draw a card, and it costs three to recruit. Uh, since we are going to be going with uh, Steel Vara as much as possible, I'm going to just go ahead and pitch this. Uh, which gives us Magic Barrier, which is a great card. Um, you know, it is uh, Orange Wall, Magic Hero, 4 attack. If you would gain a wound, you may reveal this card and draw a card instead. 6 to recruit it. Rally on Me is going to get you some good money. Orange Wall, Intelligence, 0 plus. And the plus is you get plus 1 recruit for each color of hero you have when this card is played. Um, and it costs 3 to recruit. Selfless Act. Draw a card. Rescue a Villager. This is... For the money, this is probably, it's right up there with any rare in terms of value. Um, not in terms of power, but in terms of value. Because to recruit, you draw a card and you can rescue a villager. Which, in in a vacuum, it's not very good. But when you factor in um, Steelvara's other cards, it's just, it's ridiculous. Staff of Earth, again, is uh, Orin's Wall, and it is magic. You get three attack. Uh, and then the ability is, if you've played another magic hero, choose one. Either each player draws a card, or each other player discards a card. And it's for five. And then there is the Power Stone Amulet. Again, mag uh, not Magi Nation, that's Orin's Wall. Magic Hero. Uh, two plus, and the plus comes if you've played another Orange Wall hero, which luckily that's all we're playing with, uh, with the exception of these fixers down here at the bottom. Four to buy that one. So, let's see what we've got. Go ahead and... I should probably do the Rally on Me. Because of the, the money. I think it's unlikely that there will be another selfless act um, popping out of the, the deck. But if there is, I'll have four recruit and two attack next turn, so I'll just go ahead and do that then. So I'll grab Rally on Me and see what comes out. <laughs> well, RNG is what RNG is, so... Wow, that's funny. All right, scheme twist number two. Not looking so good for us on that front, because there are only eight and we are already a quarter of the way through. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Staff of Earth. We Happy Few, another decent card. Doesn't really fit with my synergy and my, my game plan, so I'm going to probably leave it as it is. Grab these two Selfless Acts. Start rescuing those villagers. Wisdom of Ages. What else do we have? Another Selfless Ask, which is... Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, so I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to draw a card and start uh, the Rescue a Villager train. Uh, let's see. So Books of the Undead is pretty good um, for a number of reasons. Uh, it's, it's good because when you play it, you get an extra card, and extra cards are always good. But also, this is another way that you can avoid... The master strike because you need to have exactly six cards to be hit by that master strike and I, you know now i have it up i just want to point out that this is such such amazing artwork i love everything about this card um with the exception of you know i i think that the master strike can be nasty if it hits you um but you know just I think this is really, really good. You have the, the foreground is in focus. The background is blurred. You have all these, like, ethereal flames. And it's I just think that it's really, really good. Really, really nice artwork. I don't know who does the artwork for this game. But, frankly, I think that they are really, really wonderful with what they do. All right. So, Steel Vara, 
Steel Vara, so I grabbed my villager, which is nice. Um, and I will have enough attack, so I'll be able to get this, but I'll also have three recruits, so I'll go ahead and grab another selfless act. And I'll get my extra card for next turn. Moving right along. Okay, another scheme twist. Not looking so good for me. I'm going to really have to turn things around. Um, it doesn't matter. I can either do We Happy Few or Wisdom of Ages. Um, so I guess I'll just do this. Another, another selfless act. But one, two, three, four. I'm going to have a good amount of money, and I think I'll go for the Magic Barrier um, when I do this. Go ahead and play these. Uh, important note for Rally on Me, it is cards you have, not cards you've played. So you will have, um, you know, even if even if the cards are in your hand, uh, you'll still get the credit. Uh, debating, do I go Magic Barrier or do I do... Maybe I could do another Rally on Me and a Selfless Act. Hmm. Or maybe I'll go Power Stone Amulet. I think I'll do... Power Stone Amulet and Selfless Act. I think that that's a, a good one. I'll get some attack. It's not as potent as this, but I'm going to be playing all kinds of Orange Wall heroes. It's also magic, which uh, allows me to do a bunch of good stuff, like Rescue Villagers. Consequence. Oh, yeah. Consequence is another really good one. Uh, unfortunately, you do need to have multiple skill heroes uh, when you play them, but you make... KO a card from your hand or discard pile if you do rescue a villager. It's great on a number of different levels. It's a card, not a hero, so you can go ahead and get rid of those wounds if you need to. Um, I don't think that there's going to be much potential to gain wounds in this particular game, um, but you can do that. Uh, you can get rid of the the chaff and save the wheat, as it were. Um, get rid of the envoys and the guards. Um, Plus you gain a villager, which is, is just going to feed into the ridiculousness that is um, Growing Tide. So uh, so obviously I'm hoping that I get a Growing Tide pretty soon. Okay, another scheme twist. Halfway through the game. Halfway through the game. And there we go. There we go. That's... This is going to be the key to my victory because it's so bonkers. Plus, it's another skill card, which is nice. Uh, eat, one plus one attack for each villager in your victory pile. I only have two at this point. Uh, no, I guess I only have one so far. Um, either way, it's still going to be one attack, and then I get another villager, and it'll give me two attack, and then I go uh, beyond that. But four. Four cost. It's not even like the normal cost of an of an uncommon at five. It's it's bonkers. It it just it's broken and really there. I know like you know talking with people about the physical card game. Uh, you know some people refuse to play with the card that is the analog of this because it's so broken, but. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I have no shame and I want you all to see that. Okay, in the shadow of death, fight for each of your Orange Wall heroes rescue a villager. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Draw a card, draw a card, rescue a villager, draw a card, rescue a villager. So now I'm up to four. So when I finally get uh, when I finally get Growing Tide in my hand, it's going to be four attack just for the one card. So there's three attack. Here's four attack. Unfortunately, I will not be able to get this, but I think that there will be turns down the road where I'll, I will have better um, numbers of Orange Wall heroes. So we'll just go ahead and we have four money, four recruits. So I'll go ahead and buy a Consequence. Staff of Earth, again, I wish it was better, but it's 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 okay. Three attack is not bad. Three attack is not bad. I will avoid the Master Strike, thank you. I love that. Got all these magic heroes, and they're just, they're powering my... <laughs> five. So that's, that's four, 
four villagers, four attack, five villagers. I mean, I should feel bad for for Darissa and all the other villains, particularly when I when I get this guy. It's it's not fair, but I'm still going to enjoy the fact that I can do it because it's not cheesing. It is just part of it. Whew! Another scheme twist. Now I'm starting to sweat, which is, you know, not a good thing, but it's uh, it's the price you pay sometimes. So I don't have any card draw, unfortunately, but I will have a good amount of, of uh, recruit. Uh, not going to be able to make use of this. Um, I will be able to get this skill to pop. So there's three, here's five. Again, not enough. And I'll go ahead and get my recruit. Seven recruits, so yeah, I'm gonna do the consequence. And Spell of Geokinesis is really, really good. It is Oren's Wall, of course, it is magic. Five attack when you play it. Whenever you defeat a villain or mastermind this turn, rescue three villagers. So if you have Alamith full and you just clear them out, it's it's really, really good. Really, really good. Lots of extra attack for you. Um, I think I'll do one more rally on me, and that's going to be it for buying money. That hurts. That hurts. Three quarters of the way through the game already. Three quarters of the way and I'm hurting. Uh, I unfortunately don't have another magic hero at this time. I have a wound. I'm not... I must have missed when I got that wound. Um, that's a real shame, but I do have Growing Tide. I think I was confused thinking that this was um, consequence and not growing tide. So, watch this. Zero, two, five. <laughs> so I have eight attack. I'll get three more if I do that. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth it. Plus, I'll get the four victory points. There we go. There we go. And I'm not gonna buy any of these. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to move on ahead. Although Wisdom of Ages wouldn't be too bad because you just draw a card and you get an attack. So that's that's something I'll definitely consider. Uh, let's see. Blade of the Fallen. This card is worth one victory point for each magic hero among all the cards at the end of the game. Uh, and then when it escapes, you reveal a magic hero or you gain a wound. So I'm not going to do that. So... Let's see, that's six. I'm not going to have six attacks, so I think I'm going to start by playing this so I'll get extra um, extra villagers. So there's another one. Thank you. Here's another one. Thank you. And we'll play the rest. So we're only have three attack. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'll go for a Wisdom of Ages. It's kind of, kind of glut in your hand, but... You know, you play it and you draw a card, so it's it's more along the no harm, no foul. There's Leader of the Vanguard, really, really good. Um, gonna get you a lot of extra attack. Plus, it's got that skill, which is which is nice. Uh, although I definitely wouldn't play I wouldn't play this before playing Consequence in order to trigger it. So it's not not the greatest thing in the world, but not bad. So ooh, that's nice. Go ahead and do that. Oh, I didn't see Blood Stallion. Probably should have been paying attention. Fight. Each player reveals the top card of their deck. For each card, you choose to KO it or put it back, which is another great opportunity um, because it might be one of the envoys that you don't really need or want. So, KO card. And if you do, rescue a villager. Okay. I'll do that. There's the KO. I'm going to go ahead and KO an envoy. I know that was a big shock. Draw a card. Another Envoy. Gonna have seven money, seven recruit, and I think I'm gonna spend it on Spell of Geokinesis because of that ability. Uh, get the extra villagers, which will pump me up even further. Uh, four attack, I don't have anything I can defeat, so we'll move along. I'm gonna have to wrap things up pretty quickly. Ah, Books of the Dead. 
thank you for coming and playing our game. So, we'll do this Steel Vara once again, and we will discard our... I guess I don't have a discard. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to buy anything this turn anyway, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that Envoy, and I will play what I've got. I've got nine. I can do both of these. I really need to step it up from there, but I think that if I do this, it will be a better choice for me on account of when Growing Tide comes back, it'll be six stronger. So, yeah, I think I think that was the right choice. Now, as you see, I'm not really overflowing with victory points, um, but I'm not, not really hurting too much either at this point. Uh, I... I don't think that the way that it's turned out for me, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to the 50, um, just because I have to keep KOing these villains, and I was kind of front-loaded a little bit on the scheme twist, so I think I really need to focus on defeating the Mastermind at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but high ground is fight. If you fight this card in the forest or mountains, KO two of your heroes, which is another opportunity to KO, which is really... I like it. Growing Tide. 18. That's just silly. That's just silly. I can defeat the Mastermind twice. Recruit a magic or ranged hero for free. I think I'll go ahead and grab Magic Barrier. Thank you. Uh, I got excited. I thought that this was going to be another Growing Tide. Um, guess not. Okay, take another turn after this one. Thank you, I will. This is this is one that's kind of a, a, a kick in the pants because, you know, if, if you're playing single player, it's... it's what, are you going to not take another turn? So, it's not as not as great as it would be in, ma in a, uh, a multiplayer game. So that was huge. That just got me... And there's, there's another Growing Tide. But I, I only needed one to get 50% through my objective, so... If I could have two of those, that would just be unreal. So, we'll move along, and, uh, whew. All right, play a card, draw a card. Uh, that's pretty great. Go ahead and get my three attack for that. Go ahead and draw a card, rescue a villager. Nice. Draw a card, rescue a villager. Nice. Draw a card, rescue a villager. Play this, get ridiculous amounts of recruit. Well, I guess not ridiculous amounts of recruit, but you know, it was still a good amount. Uh, so there we go. We got seven attack. I'm not going to be able to do both of these this turn, which is unfortunate, but I'm definitely buying this Growing Tide. Mama didn't raid no fool. Uh, so go ahead and defeat the stallion. Uh, I am going to go ahead and KO this Rally on Me because it doesn't help me at all at this point. I don't really need to buy anything. So maybe I will get closer to the, the 50 mark. And that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be able to trigger them both. Uh, oh. That's pretty great. So am I going to get up to 6? It doesn't look like I'm going to get 6 unless I get some help. Yeah, didn't get enough, which is too bad. Um, so I'll have five attack. I'll be able to fight the high ground. Go ahead and KO. I guess I don't have anything to KO from there. KO an Envoy. Thank you. Moving right along. Defeat that. Get some more victory points. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing... Well... Never mind. I was going to say the only thing that would uh, derail me at this point would be if I somehow, you know, if, if the next two cards were were scheme twists. But thankfully, that's not going to happen. So I'll go ahead and start by drawing a card. Oh, that's silly. That is just silly. I'm going to play this so I can just pump those guys up again. By draw a card, rescue a villager. <laughs> uh, that's that's just silly. That's just silly. 
get the three extra and each time it'll get stronger but I think that I'm not even gonna play with that nonsense because we go from 11 to 36 36 to 61 Growing Tide is broken. I hope you have very much enjoyed watching me destroy this because it's it's silly. It's absolutely silly if you get an opportunity to do that. Uh, choose one. Either each player draws a card or each other player discards a card. Well, why not draw a card? That's cool. Hey, it's a wound. That's fun. <sighs> and game over. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, you know, I think that you saw the potential. I hope that you saw the potential. There's a lot of victory points to be had. Uh, there's a lot of attack, a lot of power, because Steel Vara is absolutely ridiculous. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comments below if you found a strategy that you think works better. Love to hear from you, uh, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye.